Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. Now when it comes to playing music and movies on your computer, there is no shortage of programs that allow you to do that. If you search online, you can find hundreds of different programs and players to choose from. And each one of these has different benefits, different tweaks, different add-ons. Um, but today in this video, we're going to focus on one. And it's called VLC Player. And we're going to look at the many different things that you can do with this. It's a pretty neat little application. So what you want to do is go to www.videoland.org slash VLC and um, choose, uh, choose the operating system that you're using and choose the location that you want to download from and just save it to your desktop or, or somewhere. And, and then just install the application. The defaults are fine for this. And whenever you click finish, the program will automatically start. So let's get started with the different things you can do with this. The first thing you can do is you can rip and encode DVDs. So to do this, make sure you have a DVD in your DVD drive and click open disk. And then select stream and save and click settings. You can select play locally, but then select file and click browse and do the name of the file. Um, that you want to save it as and the place where you want to save it and then click save and you have different encapsulation methods to choose from and you also have uh, different transcoding options where you can set the codecs and things like that um, and then just click OK and it'll start encoding and when you're through you've got your movie encoded alright the next thing we're gonna do is set the movie as a wallpaper so all you really have to do for this is uh, click open file, select the movie to open, and, and click OK. And once it starts playing, you can right click on it and just select set as wallpaper. And it's pretty simple as that. And once you select that, um, it'll show the movie as your desktop. It'll be running behind all of your icons and applications and things like that. And, uh, and see, here's an example. And so you can be running stuff on top of it, and the movie will be running in the background. So that's, that's a really neat little, little tool right there. Uh, I found it very useful when it worked and things like that. Alright, the next cool thing you can do with VLC is you can play videos as ASCII art. And ASCII art is just a, a series of numbers and letters and symbols that make up pictures. Um, so to do this, just go to open file and select the video clip that you want to play. And uh, mine's really short, um, just for the use for this example. And then go to settings and preferences. And under video preferences, you'll see an option for output modules. And you won't see anything there, but go down to the bottom and check advanced options, and it will allow you to choose color ASCII art video output. And then once you click save and then play your video again, it plays it as numbers and letters. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, another cool thing you can do with VLC is you can play video podcasts. And to do this, all you got to do is go to Preferences, and under the Playlist option, you'll see uh, Service Directories, and then you can select Podcasts, and you can add different podcasts. And if you separate them with a the bar, which is uh, um, the same as the backslash key, um, then you can add multiple ones. And then after you save it, you have to exit out of the VLC program, but when you restart it, uh, you'll be able to see all your different podcasts under your playlist window and uh, and um, so you can select one of those and it'll play it just like a regular video so that's that's a pretty neat little option also and you can also add RSS feeds to VLC in the form of subtitles to do that go to set uh, preferences and then uh, find the subtitles option and select RSS and Atom feeds. And then under that option, you can add uh, the different feeds against uh, separating them by a bar. But since this does show up as uh, subtitles, um, you have to have some type of visualization playing. So if it's music, make sure that you have a vis visualization checked and then just open up a music file. 
and uh, once you start playing it and it shows the visual visualization um, it will also show the RSS feed kind of scrolling on top of that with VLC you can also record live feeds from the internet and this is it's a pretty neat little feature but what you want to do is you want to find a streaming uh, feed from the internet I'm just going to use NASA's and uh, right click on it and copy the URL and then go back to VLC and go to open network stream and paste that URL and then select save file and under settings you can select play locally and then just save the file as uh, whatever you want to wherever you want on your computer and make sure you put the extension of the file after it when you save it and then just select the uh, encoding methods and click OK and it should start playing it since you selected play locally um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it just for an example and then go to where you saved it and you should be able to open it and play it like a normal file now along with recording online media you can also stream uh, media online using VLC to do this select the file or files that you want to stream because it will stream your playlist and select stream slash save and you can select UDP if you want to stream it to a specific device and then enter that specific devices um, uh, IP address or else you could just select HTTP to stream it over the internet and just enter the IP address of of your server and then you can select play locally and then OK and OK and it should start playing it and then the, the last thing you want to do is go to settings add uh, interface and select web interface and now I'll just go to another computer um, I'm, I'm on my laptop here and go to open networks uh, network stream and uh, select HTTP or UDP if you had that and then just enter in the name of the server and then the port by default VLC has it as 1234 and then you can click OK and it should start playing it should automatically connect but you'll notice that there's no controls on it um, uh, for streaming media you can't actually control it from VLC unless you go to that web interface that we enacted and it would be the web interface would be the IP address colon 8080 for the port and uh, and it brings up the uh, controls for it all right well that's it for this tutorial